They want to make it clear to black youth that if they want to be revolutionaries, they will be dead revolutionaries. Malcolm X drew his last breath from an undercurrent cop. They're not romantic revolutionaries. They're the same thugs and hoodlums that have always plagued the good people. The stack of papers on Bolton is a compilation of documents from the FBI's files on their efforts to destroy black organizations. We can go back to Harriet Tubman, and they criminalized them. And today, they're still doing the same thing. That program of destruction is known as COINTELPRO. And according to this document from August 1967, the purpose of COINTELPRO was to expose, disrupt, misdirect, discredit, or otherwise neutralize the activities of black nationalist organizations. I get downtown and see all of the Panther leaders also in a prison cell. We were facing 360 plus years in prison. There's certainly nothing that can be done in the line of goodwill when Americans have guns uh, uh, with the, even the implied idea that those guns might be directed against other Americans. And I have a special little word for Ronald Reagan in the morning. Thank you, Ronnie Baby. Southern California chapter of the Black Panther Party had a lot of brothers and sisters who would come out to gang life, who would come out to military, who come out of prison. They were ready to go to war. The Black Panthers preach every day, hate, kill white, kill the police, kill the pigs. They expect those police officers to walk into that apartment with pea shooters. Police pulled the trigger and murdered Fred Hampton, but it was the FBI and the federal government that loaded the gun. Because of the violent actions of the leadership of the new left, FBI officials concluded that some additional effort must be made to neutralize and disrupt this revolutionary movement. 